today we're going to talk about safely loading and unloading a shotgun. I have a Remington 870 here, pump action, and I have a Browning A5 semi-automatic. I'm going to run you through both methods of doing that. A lot of people have bought shotguns for home defense, and it's very important that you learn how to handle this weapon safely, as shotguns can be very destructive uh, weapons. I'm going to start out with the 870 here. Obviously, whenever you pick up a firearm of any sort, the very first thing you're going to do is make sure that the gun is clear. So, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my safety is on. Both of these guns have a cross, cross bolt safety to the rear of the trigger guard, so I'm going to engage that safety. To open up the action on a pump action shotgun, you have a lever here called the action release lever. I'm going to press on that and I'm going to run the forehand up and open the bolt. I'm going to look down in and confirm that the chamber is clear and also that I can see the follower of the magazine tube here on the 870 it's orange so it's pretty bright on some shotguns it's actually silver colored so you have to look very carefully so now that uh, I've confirmed that the gun is clear safety's on I'm going to close the action I'm going to flip the gun upside down I'll be demonstrating with inert training caps today so I'm going to insert five rounds into the tube. I now have a filled magazine tube with no round in the chamber. That's called cruiser ready position or condition rather. And a lot of people ask me how how should I keep my shotgun for home defense when I'm you know the gun is on duty so to speak. I would recommend this way cruiser ready condition. The tube is filled, the chamber is empty. If you need to use the gun, we're now going to load around into the firing chamber. I'm going to push on the action release. I'm going to run the action back. That's going to bring a shell onto the um, shell carrier, and then I'm going to run the action forward, and now I've chambered around. The gun is now ready to use. And uh, so now we're going to go over unloading the gun safely. So, since I have a round in the chamber here, first thing I'm going to do, of course, is make sure my safety is on. I'm going to get the round out of the chamber. Again, I'm going to press on the action release. I'm going to bring the bolt back a little bit, and I'm going to pop it open and get that round out of there. Of course, another round is now on the loading gate ready to be chambered, so I want to get that out of there as well. Okay, now I'm going to confirm that I have a clear chamber. I'm going to flip the gun over. I'm going to push down on the loading gate here, and I'm going to press on the side. This is called the shell latch. I'm going to push in, and that's going to release a shell from the tube, and I'm going to repeat that action and basically take them all out that way. I don't recommend running the action on the gun um, to get the to get the shells out doing this kind of thing because when you do that you're reintroducing a live shell into the firing chamber every time. So the way I just showed you is the safest way. It's not as fast or as cool, but it's definitely the safest way to unload the gun. All right. So now I'm going to go to the semi-automatic. Same thing, basically. A few extra controls, but before I do anything, I'm going to make sure the safety is on, and I'm going to open the bolt to clear the gun. So the action release on a semi-auto, uh, this is the Browning, so it's underneath, just behind the loading port here. Uh, on the Benelli's, it's on the side, but it's somewhere around the, the receiver. I'm going to pop that button, open the bolt, lock it back. I'm going to confirm that the chamber is clear and that I can see the follower. In this case, the follower is silver colored, um, so I want to make absolutely sure that the gun is clear. Once again, I'm going to load it. This is called the bolt release right here. So I'm going to release the bolt, I confirm, flip the gun over, and basically do the same thing. Fill the magazine tube. And I've achieved cruiser ready condition. Okay, so if I had to use the gun, what I have to do is get around from the magazine tube into the chamber. I'm going to hit the action release. That's going to bring a shell out of the magazine tube onto the loading gate, 
and then I'm going to run the action with the charging handle, chamber the round, and the gun is ready to go. To unload the semi-auto, once again, I'm going to make sure my safety is engaged. First thing I'm going to do is get that round out of the chamber. I'm going to just let it flop out onto the table. There it goes. Okay. Now with the semi-auto, it did not put another cartridge onto the loading gate. So in this case, I'm going to just send that bolt forward on an empty chamber, flip the gun upside down, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to reach in here. I'm going to pinch the shell latch and remove each one of these. I'm using the thumb of my right hand to push down on the loading gate as I do this. Confirm that I have a, uh, that I can see the follower, and I'm going to reconfirm that the gun is clear. So once again, I'm going to hit the action release, lock the bolt back, confirm an empty chamber, and a visible uh, follower for the magazine tube. And that's pretty much it. Stay safe and we'll see you on the range. Thank you.